that fish behind the boat. Oh my gosh. There's giants back there. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is up guys and welcome back. Thank you so much again for tuning into my channel. In this episode, I got footage of the entire fight of the biggest amberjack of my life. I cannot wait to show you guys the footage, but before I do, please do me a huge favor and support this channel by just simply giving this video a big thumbs up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even. I can't even. Oh. Oh my gosh. Guys. Oh, I can't even. Literally. I can't even begin to describe. Hold on. Let me set this camera. So I don't have to hold it. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Guys. Hold on. Let me take a breath. Hold on. Literally guys, I, I literally, I can't even explain to you. I can't even explain to you the mass of that fish and how much of me it took. I'm sure you could see it all over me right now. That thing was an absolute pig. My thumb, look, my thumbs burned. My fingers all jacked up. I came offshore, I just got my new engine. You guys seen my new engine, right? I don't know if you can see it in that frame or not. I came out with my new engine. This is my first time coming offshore with my new engine. And look guys, I had other plans. I literally wanted to target hogfish. But then when I got out here, when I started, when I started traveling out, I saw, when I started traveling offshore, I started seeing splashes and I quickly recognized they were dolphin. But something very unique is that they were chasing some type of fish at the top of the water. So I pull up to it. I'm like, what, what type of fish they chase? What, what are these dolphins chasing? So I thought it was maybe Bonita or something so I can throw my, my spoon at them. Guys, do you see all these dolphins behind me? <laughs> they're chasing some kind of big school of bait. I don't know what they're chasing, but it looks like there's a school of fish in there. I don't know what they are. All I have is a spoon on. Dolphins all around me.
So it ended up being giant mullet. I mean, huge mullet. Like, I mean, I, I'm not joking. Like, these mullet are almost two feet long. Like, a foot and a half mullet, huge. And at that moment, my plans in my head kind of switched. I'm like, you know, I want to catch hogfish, but I haven't been offshore. I haven't really got a giant. So we're using giant bait for giant fish. Dirk, this is an appreciation of you. And Lee, let's see how this reel holds up. Woo -hoo, here we go. Oh boy, I see some giants coming up. I see some giants coming up. All right, here, oh, look at that giant. Big amberjack down there. You see him, guys? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my That's a reef donkey, baby! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Couldn't even stop him. Oh my gosh! That thing in... Did you guys see that? That thing absolutely inhaled that giant mullet. We're gonna try this again. I don't know if this reel is gonna hold up. Look at that, burned my finger. I burned my thumb. I got it. I might have to get a set of gloves on. Guys, I put the glove on. I'm not even sure the glove's gonna matter with a fish this size. Oh my gosh. Here we go again. Oh, gotta get that scale out of the hook. Giant circle hook, giant bait. I'm gonna see how this, how this goes. myself into I don't know look at that fish behind the boat oh my god there's giants back there oh my gosh oh my gosh come on up here big boy come on This thing is huge. Ah. Ah. Oh my gosh, I see color guys. Look how big this fish is. Oh my god. There's another one with him. Oh my gosh. What? What are you? Oh my. Oh my gosh. He's barely hooked. Oh, oh my gosh. 
Donkey baby, this is the biggest, oh, biggest reef donkey I have ever caught in my life. Oh, can't even look at the picture. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This thing's over a hundred pounds. I gotta revive this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even. I can't even. Oh. Oh my gosh. Guys. Oh. I can't even. Literally. I can't even begin to describe. Hold on, man. Set this camera. So I don't have to hold it. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Guys. What I did here. Oh my gosh. I can't even explain it. What I did here, guys, was. I. My thumb. Look, my thumb's burned. My finger's all jacked up. The important thing is, I got him right back in the water really fast right after i landed it and uh and he revived really fast i was thinking it was going to take me forever to revive him because of how much it took to get him to the boat but he actually once i got in the water i grabbed his tail and i shook it a few times and he just bolted i mean this this rod right here guys this thing is a this is a old star rod and this actually used to be super long rod. He actually used to be, I think my buddy used to use it for uh, for um, mutton snapper fishing. But half of the rod broke off and now it's just a telephone pole. So one of my sponsors hooked me up with this reel and, I, and they said, you know, Salty, we wanna put, we want you to put this reel to the test. So that's exactly, what, that's, I, for some reason I brought this reel. I, I had a couple little small reels with me, but I brought this one just in case, cause I'm going offshore, you never know what could happen. It's two speed reel, but I put this puppy to the test and it took every bit of this reel and a piece of my thumb to get this giant up. So something I did here that's really unique. I didn't really have any big leader. All I had was 80 pound test monofilament and that's what this is. This is that's all I had with me was 80. So I drop, I dropped my first bait down and you guys just saw it, boom, broke off. That was 80 pound test monofilament, broke me off like easy. So what I did was something really different. I didn't even know if it was gonna work or not, but I actually doubled up the 80 pound test. And then I tied a bimini twist onto my main line Wow guys, I'm, I'm absolutely speechless. What an amazing day I had. What an amazing day that was. Absolute glass offshore. Whew, I just, I need that sometimes just for a recharge. I haven't been offshore in some time. And uh, I'm so glad that I have this new engine on here and this is my first time going offshore with the new engine, so. I really had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And I'll see you guys here in just a few days.